Insomniac's PS4 exclusive Spider-Man game looks nothing short of spectacular and we've been treated to a lot of big reveals over the past week or so thanks to the E3. What's exciting is the fact that the Avengers Tower is now confirmed to be a part of this game. Whether or not that means we'll see Earth's mightiest heroes call in to help Spidey out remains to be seen, but it would be pretty damn awesome to bump into Iron Man here. An ad for Nelson and Murdoch is for the law practice of Foggy Nelson and Matt Murdoch, the latter of which is Daredevil. Spider-Man and Daredevil have a long history of teaming up in the comics, which is no surprise given how they both patrol New York City and can count Kingpin Wilson Fisk as one of their greatest enemies. They've both even had romantic entanglements with the master thief known as the Black Cat. Speaking of the Black Cat, the newspapers talk about a string of robberies pulled off by a thief who leaves a calling card at the scene of the crime. One look at the Black Cat figurine and it's obvious that these crimes are the work of Felicia Hardy, the Black Cat, who is another character closely associated with Spider-Man that might just pop up in the game. While Peter doesn't work for Daily Bugle in this game, it turns out that his girlfriend Mary Jane Watson does. The newspaper features an article with her byline that profiles one Miles Morales, a student at Midtown High School who has gifted mind when it comes to designing robotics. We already know that Spider-Bots will be in this game, so perhaps Miles helps Spider-Man out by creating his tiny helper bots. And maybe when Spider-Man goes missing, it's Miles who steps up to fill his shoes, letting the player take control of the black and red suited Spider-Man with two new powers, instant camouflage and an electric stunning Venom Blast. It looks like later in the game, Norman Osborn will make a power play to take over New York City. The newspaper talks about how big a part of his platform as mayor was the promise that he'd made the city safe and secure so that there would be no more need of Spider-Man. With Spider-Man reportedly gone missing in the wake of the rough breakout, Norman seizes his opportunity to strike, deploying high-tech armed guards in order to protect the city. This could lead to Spider-Man confronting Osborn face-to-face and bring about the big reveal of the Green Goblin as the final boss of this game. Marvel fans have already spotted the Avengers Tower off in the distance in both the promotional artwork and in the E3 2018 game demo. But the newspaper features yet another tease for Earth's mightiest heroes. A for sale ad lists a 19th century home at 895th Avenue, which is the address of that other Avengers headquarters in the comics, the Avengers Mansion. The ad says it's called the home of a prolific New York City industrialist, which of course is everyone's favorite Tony Stark, aka the Iron Man. While there's been no mention of any other Marvel heroes who will show up in Spider-Man's upcoming video game adventure, it's clear that Spidey exists in a version of the Marvel Universe where the Avengers are fully formed and therefore anyone from the team could make a cameo. Given how closely movie fans now associate Iron Man with Spider-Man after seeing Spider-Man Homecoming and Avengers Infinity War, it's not unreasonable to think that this game might include that relationship too. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to The Brown Gamers. Until next time, goodbye and take care.